Well, Durham region is under fire for what many are calling an anti-black racist way of celebrating Black History Month. This comes after a virtual scavenger hunt was emailed out to employees with some jaw-dropping requests. Well, the chair of Durham has apologized. Many are saying the damage is done, and it's clear that the issue of racism here is deep-rooted. This is what happens when we do not have those diverse voices. This is what happens when we do not have those white diverse voices, especially in leadership. This is a virtual scavenger hunt that went out to all employees in Durham Region in an effort to celebrate Black History Month. It asked participants to complete a series of tasks such as dance to a reggae song, cook an African meal, and have a conversation with a black employee. Former MP Selena Caesar Chavan is also a Whitby resident and tells me she's beside herself. How does that make you feel like a sense of belonging when you're telling your, your white colleagues, well, you could get points if you speak to Selena today. You know, forget every other day, just today. And, and hand in your report by February 8th and you'll get full points. Well, what are you getting as a prize? Some fried chicken and watermelon? Because you might as well just round it all out and make it just completely racist. We're very sorry that this one went awry. The chair and CAO of Durham Region tweeted an apology saying the virtual challenge was a mistake. They also spoke on BT this morning. This just puts, just shows the reason why we have to be more sensitive to, to our community and what's going on. And uh, the program has been stopped and uh, we will review this uh, over the next couple of days and we'll do everything we can to regain that trust with our community. But professor, activist and Durham resident Ashley Marshall tells me there's a much bigger issue at play here. This is what structural institutional racism looks like. This is an experience of black people on a daily basis. And she says this is not the first time Durham region has been tone deaf in its decision making. I also want to amplify the fact that the Durham Regional Police are under scrutiny for their Black History Month cruisers, you know, featuring our heroes, such as Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks. So our culture is being appropriated because it's Black History Month, you know, by the police that we've called to abolish and defund for years. The region of Durham does not have that. It does not have a representation of the people that it serves working within the organization. Now, both women I interviewed today say that they are not even close to being satisfied with Durham's apology, saying it took two official statements from the region before the word sorry was even used. For a closer look at those statements and the scavenger hunt, you can find them posted on citynews.ca.